Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. So in my last video in the comments, I asked you guys for some questions for a Q&A video. It's been so long since I did one of these. I think it might have been years actually. I might have even been in my old flat. So I thought it was about time I did another. So I'm going to start with the most frequently asked question on my channel. And funnily enough, no one actually asked it when I asked the questions this time around. And the question is, what is your accent? or where are you from? So I'm from Yorkshire originally, which is in the north of England, where we all talk like Jon Snow the Bastard, but <laughs> obviously I don't speak like that anymore. It's actually very hard for me to do the accent now. Um, I haven't lived there for almost six years. Uh, next year will be our sixth year, so around five and a half years. But because for the past five years, I've also um, worked for myself at home and haven't left the house that often, it doesn't really matter where I live because I don't tend to hear the accents of the people in my area that often. The accents I hear the most are the ones I hear online. So there's a lot of American English, there's a lot of um, like Europeans who have learned English and have like little accents. So. That's why mine is kind of all over the place. It also really depends on who I've been spending the most time with. But then the second I hang out with my mom and my brother, all the Yorkshire comes back out. So it's just kind of like a tomballer of accents, you know? Like I never know what's gonna come out at any point. 2311 wants to know how me and Brad are feeling and how I do my hair because it always looks so pretty. First, thank you. Um, I'm actually losing a lot of hair at the moment. Some people online say it's to do with the type of insulin I'm taking. Uh, some people think it's the stress of diabetes on the body. Some people say it's one of the last things to kind of fix itself after the damage that was done before. But, oh man, I'm losing a lot of hair. That's why I've got the hat on. <laughs> Fingers crossed that works out. Um, for my hair, usually I just, um, I only do something to it like once a week. So I just curl it with a straightener and then it looks different depending on how many days it's been since I first did it. I style it one day and then leave it for like four to five. Or it just looks like this if I, I've just dried my hair upside down, you know, or let it dry naturally. As for me and Brad, um, I'm doing okay. Things are getting a lot easier with everything. Obviously, it sucks. It all sucks, but I feel like I'm coping very well. Um, Brad is still having allergic reactions almost daily. Not as crazy as the anaphylaxis he had, um, but lots of hives and itching and things. We can't seem to work out what it is. And we don't have an appointment for his allergy testing yet, so we just have to be super careful. Um, yeah, I guess I'll update you when I have more news on that front. Almira wants to know what some of my favorite TV shows are. Um, my all-time favorite is Lost. That's why I have my Lost tattoo. It's my favorite tattoo. It was my first one as well. Um, Lost, Spartacus, The Vampire Diaries, um, True Blood, Heroes, Fringe, Dexter. I love a lot of TV, but those are the ones that I just rewatch constantly. Beatrice asks, um, I would love to know about your music interest, and you've seen that I like K-pop because of my lock screen. Um, my sweet G-Dragon baby. <laughs> yep, big K-pop fan. Um, I do, this is such a cop-out answer. When everyone says it, I'm always like, ugh. I like most kinds of music. I feel like I can happily just sit and listen to everything. Although I do come from a um, like rock and metal kind of background. Um, I grew up on like Metallica, ACDC, Bon Jovi, all of that stuff. So that kind of stuff is very nostalgic for me. It's kind of like my happy place, my comfort music. Some of my favorites are Alter Bridge, Bon Jovi, like I mentioned, um, Blue October are fantastic. But nowadays, I almost exclusively search out like K-pop and K-hip-hop, which is a bit of a jump. <laughs> I understand there's a bit of a jump there. I've never seen this name before, so I'm not gonna try say it because I don't know how. <laughs> Let me know. You wanna know what my favorite K-pop groups and songs are. As for K-pop, my favorites, obviously Big Bang are, whew, my boys, G-Dragon, um, Block B, GOT7, Monster X, Winner, XO, BTS, VIX, Infinite, Sex Keys, 
Icon, Mamamoo, Twice, <laughs> everyone. I listen to everything, I watch all the music shows, I know everything that's going on. I'm deep, I'm in deep. <laughs> so Caitlin also asked about music, but you also wanted to know about current favorite video games. Um, I haven't really played any recently, but I have watched a hell of a lot of PUBG on Twitch. If I'm not watching Brad stream PUBG, I am watching Lake Doctor Disrespect or Ninja or Break or Vis. It's almost constantly just on my other screen. <laughs> so Lily wants to know how me and Marcia met and how we became friends and started bonding. So I've been watching Marcia's videos for I guess like a year or so and then she moved to the UK and I knew that she didn't know many people here and we were also very similar um, in that we're both like little social anxiety children. So I just reached out and I was like, if you need a friend, I'm a YouTuber too. I also struggle with like social situations. I'm also very shy, all of that stuff. So if you need someone to show you around, then here I am. We messaged back and forth for around a year or so before we felt comfortable enough to meet in real life. So one Halloween, Brad and I went down to spend Halloween with her and Felix and we all just clicked really well. Um, we visited a couple of times, we fell in love with Brighton and then our contract was up on our flat so we wanted to move anyway. So within a few months we just decided to up and leave and we moved to Brighton and we're still here. Derpy Dorky asks, do you have any pets and what is your dream pet? We do have a pet. Um, we kind of ended up getting lumped with Brad's family dog when we moved in here, which when it first happened, I was not a happy bunny, but I've grown to love him. It did kind of ruin my plan of getting cats, um, which I'm still kind of salty about. Not gonna lie, but my time will come. I will have at least three cats and they'll all have weird names like Doki Hash one. So my dream pet has to be a cat, which I know is pretty boring and I know a lot of people hate them, but the reasons that people hate them are generally the reasons I like them. Like they're little dicks. I love that. If I can make up a pet, I would really like a hamster sized rabbit or a snake that doesn't need to eat other animals that I love. <laughs> Jessie wants to know what my dream job is aside from YouTube and if I had unlimited money what would I spend it on and if I could live anywhere in the world where would it be? Uh, I kind of fell into doing YouTube as a job because I didn't know what I wanted to do in the real world and I still don't really know. I think whatever I end up doing it will probably be creative in some way and maybe like teaching because with YouTube and stuff obviously a big part of it is sharing it with someone so maybe teaching in some capacity although I don't know what <laughs> I, I just I don't know I haven't worked out how to be an adult yet if I had unlimited money um I'd just spoil myself and everyone else <laughs> probably and if I could live anywhere um my answer's pretty boring and I've thought about this a lot recently because um from working from home you do have just the whole world open to you. You can do this job from anywhere. Um, same with like streaming with Brad and stuff and editing, you can just do it anywhere in the world. So basically the whole world is open to me and I've come to the conclusion that I'd love to live here. I'd love to stay in England. It's just where I feel comfortable and safe. I understand the people, I understand the language. Um, I like it here. I think I would maybe like to live for like a few months at a time in different places. Um, Brad and I would like to live somewhere in Asia at some point. Brad also mentioned Canada at some point, so who knows? Leah the Hatless asked, are you more adjusted to your new diet? How is everything going? And Samwise the Strange asked um, about what sort of meals and snacks I'm making myself as a new diabetic. It's going well, I think. We're doing good. Um, I didn't really need to change too much. My actual meals, like my home cooking, has always been quite healthy. Lots of veggies, lots of fruit, lots of good stuff. Uh, but I did tend to snack on crap all the way through the day, all day, every day, and then I'd only really have one good meal. So what I've done is cut out the snacks and just traded them in for bigger and better meals. It was really hard at first and I felt like I was starving all the time, which is ridiculous. Um, but once I broke the habit of constantly needing to snack all day, 
it's been wonderful. I look forward to my meals more. I enjoy my food a lot more because、uh, I'm not eating all this sugary processed crap constantly. Everything tastes amazing. So Angel wants to know if I'm planning any more trips anytime soon, and Melanie wants to know、um, what the next city or country I'd like to visit is, and any K drama recommendation. So my next trip is hopefully Seoul,、uh, South Korea, with my friend Noodle. We really wanted to go this year, but with everything that's been going on recently, I think it's probably、um, the most responsible thing to do is to put that off for a little bit. Um, until I know what I'm doing with like my diabetes and stuff. As much as I want to go, I even had a business opportunity out there that I had to turn down. But there's always next year. It's fine. <laughs> and for dramas,、um, I haven't really seen any recently. The last one I watched was Goblin. I have months and months of dramas to catch up on.、Um, so if you have any, let me know. There's Goblin and Descendants of the Sun. If you haven't seen them already, but. I'm sure you have. They're very good. Michelle wants to know what book I'm reading, and I'm reading Think Like a Pancreas because this is my new job now. <laughs> Sophie asks, "Will you be doing more effects videos as it gets closer to October?" And she says, "Glad you're feeling well enough to post more videos now." Me too. Thank you. I'm so happy to be doing things again and not just being a sloth. <laughs> I will be doing more effects videos and things、um, leading up to October and also after October. I'm planning on ditching beauty tutorials on this channel.、Um, I'll still do some looks if they're more on the creative side of things, but I think I just gotta follow my heart. I've been trying to balance the two for so long, and it just doesn't work. I either do too much of one and not enough of the other, and. I'm just gonna follow my heart. My channel started out as a special effects character cosplay kind of channel, and it's it's just gotta go back to that, hasn't it? I love beauty, and I do have a beauty blog dedicated to beauty, and I will probably not probably I will definitely continue with it on there. But I think I gotta take this back to what this channel used to be. Because it's what I, I enjoy doing the most. It's what people seem to enjoy the most, and from a business side of things as well, it's what makes the most money.、Um, and with YouTube dying, I really gotta <laughs> I really gotta solidify what my brand is. So yeah, those are the plans. <laughs> Owen asks if I have any plans to start streaming on Twitch. I do. I really really want to start streaming. I want to do creative, and I want to play games as well.、Um, right now, I don't think my computer is. Up to it, although I do want to do a few test streams. So I, I want to do it. I keep opening OBS and looking at everything, and almost like going to do it, and then I kind of get scared and don't do it. So we'll see. I think it might be a bit ambitious to start streaming over the Halloween period because it's obviously when I'm the most busy. But also maybe it might be fun because I'm making way more things because it's. Halloween season, you know. So I don't know. I really want to do it. We also have a little community from、uh, Brad streams as well. So I know it would be super fun. I'd have familiar faces there, but it just it makes me nervous. I don't know why. Ten shilling sixpence asks, "What's your favorite crocheted plushie you've gotten in the past few months?" It has to be this cute little unicorn baby,、uh, Nora. Or ten shilling sixpence is someone from my Twitch community. She's wonderful, and while I was sick, she made me this little unicorn baby, and I love him. Thank you. But then, that's it. Hopefully, I got most of your questions. If you want me to do more of these, I'm happy to do these every now and then. So feel free to leave me a question down below,、um, on one condition. I don't want this to just be a one-way kind of thing. So every time I do one of these, I'm gonna ask you guys a question as well. So this time, I want to know one thing you've done recently that you're really proud of.、Um, it could be a good deed. It could be getting a good grade.、Uh, it could be making a phone call, even though phone calls make you nervous. Which is something I've done recently. So leave me a comment down below with a question or your answer to my question or both.、Um, as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll speak to you next time. Bye.